Have you been slogging away on YouTube with no results? Not sure what to do next? Well, that's exactly where I am right now. What's up everyone? My name is Brad McKinnon and I have a question. What to do next? On YouTube. Here's my story so far. So in 2013 for my 35th birthday I got this GoPro Hero 3 action camera. You see I've always been interested in filmmaking but I've never done anything about it. So after I got this camera I decided to start filming some of the adventures I go on around New Zealand. First up I hike up Mount Narahoe under a full moon to watch the sunrise. I got some amazing footage but a lot of it was shaky and well I put it together and yeah it was good enough for my first video so I uploaded it to YouTube and started my very own channel. The more adventures I went on, the more videos I got to make and the more I learnt and got into it. Watching other filmmakers tips and tricks on YouTube McKinnon, M, did I spell that right? N -N -O -N. How to edit in GoPro Studio and Adobe Premiere Elements, which is what I use now. I even filmed a friend's wedding, and from doing this, learnt more and more. Mainly that I need a better camera, a drone, etc. But all this cost money, and I was still doing this as a hobby. Anyway, a couple of years went by, and by this stage, I'd uploaded about 20 videos to YouTube about my crazy adventures around New Zealand. When? Air New Zealand contacted me. What? Well, not Air New Zealand, but the company that programs all the in-flight entertainment on those little screens you see in front of your seats that you watch. They wanted to use six of my videos on all international Air New Zealand flights. What? That's massive. Well, at least I think so. So here's me and my channel on Air New Zealand. Six of my best videos for thousands hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people to watch. You see, I did some research and Air New Zealand services 15 million people worldwide annually. Wow! Was this my big break? All of these people watching my videos, surely they'll go back and subscribe on YouTube to my channel. Hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Bring it on! Wait, one second, let me just do a real-time check of how many subscribers I have. 30 30, 38? Is that right? Thirty-eight subscribers? Can't be right. It can't be right. Even Jetlag put one of my videos on their Facebook page and they have over four hundred thousand followers. That video has had over seventy thousand views. Let me let me just refresh that page. Hang on. Just refreshing that page. One second. No. Thirty-eight. 38 subscribers. So this brings me to my question. What to do next on YouTube? So I've been thinking and pondering about what to do. What to film? Because up until now it's been all about adventure videos and frankly it's just not it's just not cutting it. So I've come up with a few ideas. What about tech reviews? So here we have a mobile phone used to call people wirelessly. Let's see if it works. It's calling now and Hello? Oh, it works. So, 10 out of 10 for the mobile phone. DIY. So before any DIY gets carried out, first things first, safety. Let's get our PPE on. Now that we've got our PPE on, we're protected from any silly accidents we can might come by with, you know, stuff like this. So you've got to remember when you're working with sharp objects, the last thing you want to do is saw your hand off. Product, re product, product reviews. So today I'm reviewing inflatable stand-up paddle boards. And first thing you've got to remember is when they're inflated, do not push that button. Cryptocurrency advice. Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? I don't know either. Bitcoin? Bitcoin is it? Oh, I thought it was Bitcoin. Oh, it's Bitcoin. Oh. So apparently now every step taken on your Fitbit is equal to one Bitcoin. So if you have a look here at my... I've currently done... 1,176 steps, so that's the equivalent of $1,176. Apparently, 
syncs to your phone and you get home you've got money in your account sweet what a um cruise ship schedule we have 100 cruise ships coming in here every summer at Mount Mongoli. Surely people want to know what time they're coming and departing so they can so they can go and watch. 6.30 a.m. Should be expecting one in any minute right now. Ah, there it is. Concert reviews. Oh my god, the Foo Fighters played in Auckland last weekend. <laughs> Damn, what a concert. One of the best I've been to. Listen to the set list, run all my life, learn to fly, the pretender, the skies and neighborhood, rope, Sunday rain, my hero, these days, walk, let it die, break out, under my wheels, another one bites the dust, under pressure, monkey wrench, Detroit rock city, big me, best of you. Then they came out for an encore and played four tracks. Times like these, this is the core, wheels and ever long. What about music tutorial? Swiss balls, perfect for practicing your drumming at home. Makes less noise. in my camera bag. So what actually is in my camera bag? Ah. Jesus Christ. And finally, vlogging. Which funnily enough is what I'm doing now. And I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm not that good. But I'm trying new things. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone. Stepping in front of the camera and not hiding behind it. So that's what I'm going to do. Vlog. Possibly try my hand at everything else I've mentioned. Well. Wait, no? Maybe. Weekly vlogs to see how we go. Maybe daily vlogs. Then I'll have to quit my job because I'll probably have 1 million subscribers by then. And then I'll have to stay home, make videos, open free stuff that gets sent to me every day. Bring it on. Hey, dreams are free, but goals make you go for those dreams. And that's my goal. Yes, now that YouTube has announced they're changing the eligibility requirement for uh, monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. That's going to make my channel one of the many to have monetization turned off and I won't be able to earn money. Not that I was earning money to begin with. But instead of getting all peed off about it, I know I have to work harder, work smarter, be smarter, create better videos that more people want to watch and making this video is the beginning, it's the first step to doing that. You know, I look back at all the videos I've made and I'm happy with where I'm at. I mean, I've improved a lot. I mean, the quality is getting better and better every day, but there's always room for improvement. Always got to keep learning and keep working. And, and I always think back to that very first video I made up Mount Narahoe and think if only I had a stabilizer or a, a drone or just a bit more filmmaking knowledge. I mean, that could have been unbelievable because the scenery was just amazing. And yeah, I mean, well, you know what? Now that I've gained more knowledge, now that I've brought a drone, a stabilizer, I'll have to go back and do it again. Climb for three hours straight up a strata volcano under a full moon, reaching the summit for sunrise. So that's what I'm gonna do next on YouTube. I hope it's inspired you to do better things and hang in there and don't give up. Speed bumps are put in place to slow us down but never to stop us. Put your foot down and go hard. As Scott McLaughlin once said, chuck it in first and give it some jandal. <laughs> yeah. Sorry baby, sorry. Oh, that was me, I'm, I'm making a video. I put a dollar in the jar, sorry, yeah. Uh, video, it's all good, it's all good. So thank you very much for watching my first number one vlog, 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 vlog. If you like this video, hit like, Subscribe, leave a comment, because this is the beginning for new things for me on this channel. Later.